Hey YouTube, this is your girl Nunu Ru, and um, this video is going to be like what I've seen other YouTubers do. It's called a the shit I don't like video, and um, I have wrote it down so I will remember, you know, what I wanted to say. So before I go into the video, I do want to um, thank all of my um, new subscribers. Um, and my old subscribers as well. Thank you for following me for this last um, year and some change. I really do appreciate you. I appreciate you um, with your comments and I appreciate you on Google. I appreciate you on Facebook. I just want to tell you that I really do appreciate you. Okay, now I will go into the shit that I don't like. And the way I did the shit I don't like is I did it in two parts. I did one part for family, and the other part is for YouTubers. So it's a shit that I don't like with the family. It's a shit that I don't like. What well, shit I don't like personally with the family, and shit I don't like with the YouTubers. So okay, here we go. The first would be the um, personal. All right. Well, um, I don't like the fact that. I inherit a uh, family illness, and um, for most of y'all that have been following me, I talk about it on basically all of my videos. Um, I've got a condition called Charcoal Marie 2. It is charcoal like you're drilling, Marie like the name Marie, and tooth like the tooth in your mouth. Charcoal Marie 2. Um, better known as BMT. I am on a um, Support group on Facebook, which I love to death because it's so, um, it's very good speaking to people that's going through the same thing that you're going through. And, you know, when you're going through illness, you really don't know what's wrong with you. But then when you're on this group, it's like so many people going through the same thing that you're going through. So, but anyway, I still don't like it. I, I hate this shit. So this is one of the shits I don't like. Um, number two. I don't like um, the fact that everything, every kind of illness that's in my family, other than diabetes, knock on wood, I seem to have. And it's crazy because it was six of us as kids growing up. I have I had a brother. He passed at the age of 30. His kidneys um, failed, so um, he had a transplant, but it rejected his body, so the transplant fell. So he passed away um, a week after his birthday, and he just turned 30, and that was about 21 years ago. And I lost my mother. I lost my mother in 2011 and lost my sister, one of my sisters in 2010. But um, I lost my mother from the same condition that I have. So it's like this condition goes back to generations after generations after generations. I mean, my great 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 grandma, she had it and. It's like I got a sister that has it, and she's still here, though. She's still alive. So it's like um, it's so many illnesses running through my family. But you know what? We're not the only family. Everybody has conditions that run through their family. But I tend to try to do things a little bit healthier, and I still, you know, mind up getting it. So that's what you don't know, like. I don't like the fact that um, my dad suffered from the cold sore. So every single time. I got a cold, um, cold, I got the cold sore every single time. And I'm allergic to um, oranges. I have allergies of oranges. It makes my throat closes. So everything that other people in my family experiment, experience is what I experience. I have the um, kidney issues, but thank God my um, mine is not as severe as my sister's and my brother. The one that passed us. So, um, and my mom, because my mom had a kidney transplant too, but she didn't die from that. But, um, you yeah, know, so, I, everything other than diabetes, I seem to have 
inherited from my family. So that's the shit I don't like. Um, I don't like the fact that out of six kids, now four are still alive. Out of four of us, I'm the only one who had to get a hysterectomy. And my mom, she had to get a hysterectomy too. So again, anything that happens in my family, I tend to get. So I had a choice between getting it or dying, and of course I chose life, choose life, so I had to get it done, and I don't hate the fact that when I got it done, they didn't really go into the after effect that I would have, like, um, I was really excited because that means no more menstrual cycles, yes, no more pads for me, I, I mean, this was a a goal for. I think the only thing that I had an issue with was the fact that I didn't know how sex with my husband was going to be after that. And that was a big concern for me because I didn't know if I was going to be satisfying to my husband anymore because the fact that I had it done. I didn't know anything really about the situation. And I didn't have my mom anymore because she already passed when I had it done. So I had it done two years ago. And my mom was already born. So it's like I didn't I didn't know anything. And so I'm like really happy, like I said, no menstrual cycle. But nobody was nobody told me that, okay, you wanna be hot all the time. You want it's gonna put you into um premature menopause. And I'm hot all the time. I to the point that I have my husband that's wrapped up all the time because I got the ear on constantly because I can't take the heat, so that's the shit I don't like. Um, I don't like the fact that I, um, by me being sick, I had to get an aid to help me around the house because I was dealing with too many phones and stuff. But my phone um, has gotten better. It's not like it was before, so I'm able to manage better um, now. After that, I'm back on the water, but um. Yeah, so I had cancer my age. Although I really don't like nobody to be around me all day. I'm really not that um type of person that I need somebody that I really don't know around me that's there only for the purpose of taking care of me. I mean, if we're here to drink, chill, whatever the case may be, I'm cool with that. I love friends, don't get me wrong. But not somebody just to sit there and be like, um, do you are you hungry? Do you need to get up to go to the bathroom and stuff like that? So I had canceled my age. So the shit I don't like is the fact that I canceled my age and now my kids visit me a lot and they come over and I'm so used to my house being clean and now I see dishes left in my sink and it's like shit. That's what my age was doing for me. So what do you think? You think I'm the age that I'm supposed to do for y'all now? That's the bullshit I don't like. Like, if you come over here to eat, clean up your shit. I'm not here to clean up for y'all. When y'all was babies, it was my, it was my uh, responsibility to take care of y'all. But now that you're grown, that's not my responsibility no more. It's your job to clean up after your stuff if you choose to come over and eat at my house. So that's the shit I don't like. Okay, I'm pretty much with the, oh no, 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 I got more, I'm sorry. I got more with the family. I got one especially a shit that I don't like about my husband. My husband um, and I, we are part of um, an organization where it requires us to be at meetings and stuff. Okay, I have no issues with that. It's a um, charitable organization. I really love being a part of it and stuff like that. The shit I don't like is the fact that now the only time we basically do something and go out and enjoy ourselves if it's with them. That's the bullshit I don't like. I don't like the fact that our time as having fun has to be with him, with them. So, yeah. And then when he wants to do something that I don't want to do, he has to edit it. So that's the shit I don't like. Okay. Now for my YouTubers. Um, things I, the shit I don't like with the YouTuber channel now, I, like I said before, I love my um, subbies. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate your support and stuff like that. But I don't, I, and I know YouTube is huge. 
And Diddy, I'm on the YouTube. I don't like that. Um, and that's the bullshit I don't like. I don't like when I'm on YouTube and people come in the house and just start talking in their conversation. Like they don't see me on YouTube. So that's another one for the family. So anyway, back to YouTubers. Um, I don't like the fact that when around me I have nobody that's locking. Nobody that's locking. So it's like um, I do know people that's locking. Um, that I'm starting to um, like get close to them, but um, I'm on YouTube a lot. Um, you may call me a YouTube junkie because I'm always checking out people's YouTube channels. I think I'm on YouTube more than I'm in on Facebook, more than I'm on Twitter, more than I'm on um, Instagram. Like I'm really on YouTube all the time because I'm checking out your videos. And I'm commenting on your videos. I'm laughing at your videos, the ones that's funny. I'm crying on your videos, the ones that's emotional. And it's like I'm reaching out also to let y'all know that, you know, I'm listening to y'all. And it's like when I'm sitting here responding to y'all, and y'all do respond with y'all, y'all do respond in y'all comments. But when I look on my, my channel, and I'm looking at the people that I'm like getting connected to, like I said, because I don't have nobody that's locked in around me other than me. So I feel real connected to the YouTube lock family. So um, it's bad when I'm like following you and it's like I'm looking to see like, are you checking out my videos? And it's like, no, that kind of is like hurtful because it's like, okay, you were at this point at one, time, at one point in time. I'm a year and two weeks. And something like that. I'm over a year. I think it is two weeks now. Yeah, it's been two weeks. So I'm a year and two weeks. And it's like, okay, that may not seem like a lot to some, but it's a big accomplishment for me. And I'm like really focused on my two year mark. So, you know, one year I did it, done it, been there, you know, but now my focus is. To continue what I've been doing and press on to my second year mark because locking my hair has been amazing and I'm enjoying this feeling I, I'm having deep inside from locking. But it's like support would be nice. Support would be nice. If I could take the time out to comment on your page, I think it'd be nice for you to comment on mine. I don't think that's too much to ask for and to subscribe to me. And because it's a, it's a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers that I talk to on YouTube, on their channel, and I'm looking like, okay, looking at my channel, and I'm like, wow, they're not even checking out mine. They don't even know what I'm going through. You know what I mean? So that's a shit that I don't like. I appreciate my YouTube people, don't get me wrong, because I love you guys, and I talk to a lot of y'all on Facebook and um, Instagram. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the people that that not responding and not um sub subbing to me. So I just think that um I think some people when they get to a point that they have like a whole lot of subbies, they feel like they don't don't have to subscribe to anybody anymore. And it's like okay, you have all these new people that's now starting this journey and you leaving comments on your pages. When you're talking about to my new sisters and my new lock brothers that lock in, keep it up, this is a journey. But yet and still you're telling us to keep it up, but you're not doing no encouragement on our channel. So I just, well, I can't speak for everybody else, but I can speak for my own channel. You're not really leaving no encouragement on my channel. And that really is shit that I don't like. So, um... That's pretty much it with the shit I don't like. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can go on and on and on because I'm really am that people type person. And I see that when I'm watching a lot of uh, my YouTubers channels, I see that a lot of y'all are you um, very friendly people that y'all seem to be on YouTube. And it's like I feel that connection to y'all because of the fact of this journey that I am on now. So it's just like... I just, I just really, the thing is, I just really want that support back. That, that is true. I don't like. 
Um, before I go, I wanted to show what I've done to my hair. I do have flat twists going around my whole head up into like coming into like a ponytail, if you will. Um, but I have um, the lock with the called, pipe cleaners to make this part curly. So I got them in. It's real nice and neat. I just wanted to put this on my hair because I like the way this um, cat look on my head. So, but I am ordering my hair every day and um, it's growing. I'm loving it. And so that's all I have to say. I did do this video already once. And for some reason, it said video failed. Maybe because the time limit on the video, I don't know. Um, I'm still not good with editing yet. I am going to try to learn how to edit my videos so maybe I can make it shorter. But, um, yeah, I'm learning. So, all right. Well, I'm about to get off of here for right now. But I want to thank you all for watching my video, watching my other videos, and subscribing to me. Like I said before, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me now. So, until next time, peace and love.